வந்தேஹம் ஸ்ரீகுரு The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, second chapter, text number 8, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 6th of September, 1972, in New Brindavan, West Virginia. Sri Rupam Chakra Jatam ஹியூமன் சொசைட்டி there is always some kinds of religious institution that is called dharma faith real dharma means that i have already explained occupational duty constitutional duty that is called dharma functional duty so real dharma real religion is to become servant of god or to render service to god that is real religion but we have manufactured so many religions different societies different circumstances different country therefore it is advised here way that you may execute any kind of religious faith but the result should be perfect you can say i am very perfectly executing the ritualistic ceremonies and the tenets described in my scripture bible or veda or quran that's very good but what is the result the result is that you must develop or increase your tendency to hear about god but if your ultimate truth is impersonal mostly they consider god has no form then if god has no form then what he will hear about him simply formless 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 how can you can how long you can go on thinking like this god is formless if god is formless then your idea of hearing about him is finished because formless there is nothing activities but actually god is not formless several times i have explained god has got his form he is person he has got his activities therefore in the bhagavad gita it is said janma karma ajopi san abhyatma bhutanam isharopi san although he is aja nobody has to die aja aja means birth uh, nobody takes birth either the living entity or god न जायते न मृयते इन दि भगवद गीता इट इज सेड दैट दि लिविंग एंटिटीज वी आर ऑल लिविंग एंटिटीज न जायते दे डू नॉट टेक बर्थ नाइ दैट दे डू डाई न जायते न मृयते वा कदाचित एट एनी टाइम 
that what is this? Death and birth. The death and birth is simply chain of the body. The subtle body and the gross body. Just like every night we die, the gross body remains inactive on the bed and the subtle body takes me away. I dream. I go in the dreamland. I've gone to some friend. I'm talking with somebody. I'm working in a different way. That is our daily experience. This means that we have got two kinds of body. One body is this gross body and the other body is subtle body made of mind, intelligence and ego. So foolish person, they do not see the subtle body. But the subtle body is there, everyone will accept. I am working with my mind, intelligence and ego. Everyone knows. So although we cannot see the subtle body, it is there. So death means this gross body, this overcoat is left. I am carried away by the subtle body. And I enter into another overcoat or gross body. So practically this is called death. Because we have no vision of the subtle body, how the soul is being transferred or transmigrating from one gross body to another gross body, keeping the subtle body intact. And the subtle body is given up when one is liberated. And at that time he goes, when he is liberated, free from the subtle body also, at that time he is promoted to the spiritual kingdom in spiritual body. Therefore, while living in this uh, gross body, we have to educate our subtle body in such a way that it, it becomes spiritualized completely. The subtle body is mind, intelligence and ego. So if we think of Krishna in the mind always, and if we work intelligently for Krishna, that is mind and intelligence, and if we change our false ego, ego means I am. So I am at the present moment thinking I am American, I am Indian, I am white, I am black, like that. I am human being, I am animal, I am cat or dog, so many things I am. This I am has to be changed. I am eternal servant of Krishna. In this way, if you educate or transfer the activities of the subtle body, mind, intelligence and ego, then at the time of death you give up the subtle body, material subtle body, mind, intelligence and ego, and by your spiritual body you go back to home, back to God. This is called Krishna Consciousness Movement. Gross body, automatically we give up. Now we should practice to give up the subtle body. To give up the subtle body, one has to develop love for God. Prem. And the process is how to give up the subtle body. Adho sadhya. First of all, Sadha. Sadha means a faith or some respect. Actually it means respect. Just like you have come here out of faith and respect. So here they are talking about God. There is temple of God. Let us go there. 
This is faith and respect. Adau sadhya. This is the beginning. Now, after coming here, when you hear about God, because we, our only business is we don't talk here politics or sociology or anything. That comes automatically as subordinate things. But our business is to talk about God. So those who talks about God, they are called saintly persons. There are two kinds of men within this world. Materialistic person and transcendentalist are men interested in spirituality. So those who are interested in spiritual life, they talk of self-realization. And those who are materialistic person, they also talk. They talk about this body, how to keep this body nicely. There are politics, sociology, welfare activities, so many things, all concerning to the body. So there are many talks, just like in the newspaper, in your country especially, bunch of newspaper, so many talks, advertisement, fashion, this news, that news, full of. So the materialistic person, they read the newspaper, but we read Srimad Bhagavat. That is the difference. We are also reading. They are also reading. So, Ninang Santi Sahasra. Sutubhyani Rajendra, Ninang Santi Sahasra. Sukhdev Goswami said to Parikhit Maharaj, My dear King, there are many hundreds and thousands of topics for the materialistic person. Sahasrasa. Sahasrasa means thousands. And that is a fact. So many novels, so many fiction, so many so-called philosophy, newspaper, cinema paper, this paper, that paper, so many. Sahasrasa. Sutubhadi nirajendra ninang santi sahasrata apasyatamatma tattam grihisu grihame dhina. Apasyatamatma tattam. Because they do not know, they have no information of the soul, they are talking about this body. Or sometimes about this mind, philosophical speculation, concoction. One philosophy is theorizing something, another philosopher is theorizing something. Lots of literature, all nonsense. Because it is mental speculation. I speculate in one way, you speculate in another way. You refute me, I refute you. So, therefore, the talks of the body and talks of the mind, there are varieties. Why they are engaged in so many talks? Because they do not know. Apasatam. They have no vision of the soul. Atmatatva. Grihesu grihamedhinam. Grihamedhi. Those interest is simply to maintain this body. They are called grihamedhi. Generally, atheist class, they have no interest in God. The atheist class long, long ago, thousands of years ago, there was atheist also, because there are two classes of men always in, in this world, atheist and theist, Osur and Deva, Devata. So not that atheist class men have developed at the present moment, it may be the number has increased, but atheist class of men were long, long ago also. There was Charvak Muni, he was also called Muni. Muni means mental speculator or thoughtful. So this Charvak Muni, he also presented his philosophy, atheism, 
रीनांकृत्याधृतं पिवे जावत जीवे सुखं जीवे सो लॉन्ग यू लीव यू लीव वेरी जॉयफुली बाय एंजॉइंग योर सेंसेस दिस इज एथिस्टिक प्रिंसिपल एंड इन इंडिया द सेंस एंजॉयमेंट प्रिंसिपल इज बेस्ड ऑन घी क्लैरिफाइड बटर because if they get butter they prepare so many nice preparation you have also learned how to do it <laughs> but in india there are varieties if you sometimes go to india in delhi there are shops many varieties of food stuff all from grains and fruits that's all grain fruits ghee sugar and salt varieties hundreds So, eating, sleeping. The basic principle is eating, sleeping, mating. So, Charbak Muni says that live very joyfully and eat very nicely. Enjoy your senses. Finish your life. That is atheism. Opposite amar putam. They have no vision that there is soul. The soul is not migrating. There are eight million. Four hundred thousand species of bodies, and you are transmitting from one to another, another, another in this way. They don't care for it. Even if he is in four, that if you are acting like this, you are going to be a tree next life. Ah, oh, doesn't matter. Let me enjoy. They say frankly, if I become tree, what is the harm? I shall forget. The people have become so ravish. that they have lost their self interest just like if you say to a child that you are always playing you are not going to school you are not becoming educated you will suffer in your future life you will have no position in the society but if i do not care you may say that but the risk is there similarly the modern human being you inform him about the transmigration of the soul and by his activities he is supposed to become next life very low grade animal or aquatic or reptiles so if they are informed if they do not care that is not very good intelligence this is a fact Just like in my this life, I can experience in each stage of my life, I have my past, present, and future. You are all young boys. You had your past as a child, as a boy. Now you are young. Now your future is also there, as old as I have become old. So in any stage of life, there is past, present, and future. so why not i am old man so when i shall die why there is no future there must be future i had my past and i am at present and there must be future also so the future is that i must get another body that body may be of animal or trees or demigod or god that is stated in the bhagavad gita janti deva brata devan pitrin janti pitri brata you can prepare yourself for your next body so ultimate goal is to get a body in the kingdom of god that is sansiddhin paramangata that is highest perfection you can get a body next as a human being in the rich man's family or as a king or as a leader or as a cat as a dog as a tree that will depend on your work similarly you can get your next body as associates of god krishna that is stated that you can have mat jajino pi janti ma Those who are my devotees, 
they come to me. Krishna says. And what is the benefit of going to Krishna? Mamupeta kuntiya dukhalam masasatam napnubanti. If somebody comes to me, then he does not get any more this material body to come to this material world. What is the harm if I come to the material world? Dukhalayam asasatam. This material world is full of miseries and that also temporary. Even if we accept that I shall adjust my miserable condition of life, but still nature will not allow you to live there. You may think that we are Americans, we have got enough money, vast land, resources. I shall live as American. But you can live as American, and say, for fifty years. You will not be allowed to live as my American or as Indian or this or that. Even as Brahma, you will be not allowed. Brahma has got his one day millions of years. He will also not be allowed. A ant will not be allowed, a cat will not be allowed, an elephant will not be allowed, a man will not be allowed, a demigod will not be allowed to live forever. Hiranakosipu tried to live forever. He underwent uh, severe penances to become immortal. It was not possible. Uh, that is not possible. Of course, the lunatic scientist says that by scientific advancement we shall become immortal. The lunatic. It is not possible. Because in the past there is no such incident. So in the present there is no such incident. How we can expect in the future such incident? That is not possible. Therefore, Intelligent person, they should try to get the ultimate transmigration. Ultimate transmigration means go back to home, back to God. That should be the actual aim of life. That is first class, intelligent. But they do not know. Uh, therefore, we are trying to render our humble service to the human society to give this information that you are trying for so many things for becoming happy, but instead of being happy you are becoming hippie. So please take this Krishna consciousness and actually you will be happy. That is our mission. That is our mission. Therefore, the Bhagavad says to the civilized human being, those who have got some religious principle, church, religious institution, that you are executing your religious principles very nicely. That's all right. Uh, but uh, if you do not develop the propensity for hearing about God. Just like we have got this temple. We are worshipping Radha Krishna deity. That's all right. But side by side we must develop to hear about Krishna. Otherwise it will be finished after a few days. Savanam Kirtanam. As soon as there will be no interest for hearing about God, all these churches and temples and mosques will be finished. In the Christian world that is happening, not only Christian and other also, they are selling churches. Nobody is going to church. Because simply officially going uh, on Sunday without any enlightenment, without any understanding about God, how long it will be prolonged? It cannot be prolonged. People will be disinterested and uh, they will not go. Actually it is happening. There are so many churches, nobody is going. In London I have seen. In your country also there are so many churches vacant, 
we have purchased so many churches in Los Angeles, we have purchased that church. When it was running as a church, it was a deserted land. Since we have taken that, every night, every day, hundreds of people are gathering like this, because there is words of Krishna, and people are hearing about Krishna. Vishakshina kathasuda. So, you can have your churches, temple or mosque, but if you do not develop your tendency to hear about God, then it will not be successful. Sarmaye vahi kevalam. Sarmaye vahi kevalam. Dharma sanustita. Dharma sanustita pungja. Vishakshina kathasuja. No padayadratin jadi. By going daily to the temple or to the church, or to the mosque or anywhere, any religious building or institution. If you do not develop your propensity to hear about God, then you have wasted your time. Sarmai vai kevalam. Going and coming, it is simply labor. That's it. So that is the test. Therefore, either in temple or in church, in mosque, there must be regular recitation on the talks of God. Otherwise people will lose interest. And the churches and temples have to be closed. So that talks of God is here in Krishna consciousness. Because our God is not impersonal, void. No. He is the Supreme Person, Krishna. You can see personally how he is standing, how he is enjoying with his eternal consort, lover, Srimati Radharani. Here is God, actually. God is not engaged in punishing somebody, an original God. God is engaged in enjoying with his eternal consort, Srimati Radharani. Srimati Radharani is enchanting Krishna, and Krishna is enchanting Radharani. This is the business of God. Dve lagi uhra huri. In the Chaitanya Chaitamrita, it is said that when Krishna comes before Radharani, she becomes so much engladdened by seeing the beauty of Krishna that she becomes more beautiful. And as soon as Radharani becomes more beautiful, Krishna becomes engadded and he becomes more beautiful. So unlimitedly there is competition of becoming more beautiful. Duhe lage hurahari. That is this thing. Competition. Because in the spiritual world everything is unlimited. So unlimitedly both of them becoming beautiful and both of them are enjoying, unlimited. This is Krishna consciousness. So similarly, if we develop our propensity to hear about God and His activities with His cowherd boy's friend, with His girlfriend's gopis, with His mother, with His father, with His teacher, so many. Everything is imitation, perverted reflection. Here also we have got those relationships. Relationship between father and the son, relationship between conjugal lover, the boy and the girl, relationship between friend and friend, relationship between master and servant. Everything is here also. But because they are material, they do not stand. I am servant of somebody if he does not pay me salary, I give up his service. I am friend of somebody, if my intention is not fulfilled, then I give up that friendship. My love with a boy or with a girl is there, but as soon as there is some discrepancy, there is divorce. 
So here everything is perverted and is so many faulty ideas. But this very thing is there in the kingdom of God, in relationship with God, Krishna. And there everything is eternal. By becoming servant of God, you eternally enjoy Him as Master. By becoming a friend of God, you enjoy eternal friendship. By becoming father or mother of God, you enjoy the parental affection between father and son. And by becoming lover of God, you become eternally happy. So, unless you hear about these things, then how can we intensify to go to God? Uh, just like when I hear about some country, that this country is like this, and there is, there is such and such happiness, and such and such enjoyment, then we think of making a tourist list to go there. Therefore, to go back to home, back to Godhead, uh, unless we hear about Him, how we can be inclined? Therefore God comes, Krishna comes, He manifests His pastimes in Vrindavan. How He is dealing with friends, servant, mother, father, lover, so that we may be inclined to go back to home, back to God. This is God's mercy. Therefore, executing religious principle means the result must be to develop our propensity to hear about God. Nutpadaya the rati. This rati, rati means just like ah, rati is called sexual appetite. The Goswamis, they are described rati. How rati is explained? Jubati nangja tha juno. Just like young boy and young girl, they meet together, immediately their sex impulse become agitated. It hasn't got to be uh, taught them. Naturally, naturally. He wants to talk or she wants to talk. So this is called roti, spontaneous attraction. This is called it has not to be taught, spontaneous. So, as soon as uh, there is spontaneous attraction to hear of our God, that we mean that we are attaining perfection in religion. So if you are going on as a hackneyed program to the church, to the temple or to the mosque, but there is no spontaneous attraction for hearing about God, then it is simply labor, simply waste of time, that's all. That is explained here. dharma sana sthita pungsang vishyakshena yadi samaye vahi kevalam So, to come to this platform of spontaneous attraction, you have to execute as some other formulas. What is that? That as you are coming here with some faith, sadhya or respect, here is a temple, so you should come. You should come regularly. Why? Adu sadhya tatu sadhu sangha. If you come regularly, then these boys and girls who are engaged in the worship of Krishna or who are developing the life of devotee, practicing under the direction of the spiritual master, they are called sadhu. Sadhu means those who are acting very pious. So those who are acting for Krishna, they are automatically pious. Because God is pure, and those who are acting for God, they are pious. Each and every activities in this temple are pious activities. Therefore, they are pious. Adu sadhya tatu sadhu sangha. 
and as soon as you associate with the pious devotees, naturally there will be inclination to act like them. Why not act like them? Actually that is happening. They are dressing like this. They are keeping their body like this. They are chanting Hare Krishna mantra in the back. They are worshipping, they are reading. Why not become like them? So Adhu Sadha, first with respectful tendency to come in the center, then to make association with them, and the next stage is to become like them. Then he approaches the spiritual master, kindly initiate me, bhajana kriya. And as soon as you take to this bhajana kriya, to devotional service, anartha nivitishyat, anartha, some unwanted things which you have practiced. What is that? Illicit sex. Or if you want sex, why don't you marry and live respectfully, husband and wife? Why illicit sex? This is unwanted, but you have practiced. But if you become devotee, you can give up this nonsense practice. Illicit sex, meat eating, why meat eating? We have got so many nice preparation, Sunday, Sasgulla, Halwa, Puri, Luchi. Why shall I eat these nasty things? Rotten. Eh? It is slaughtered and kept for three thousand years in the refrigerator. And that rotten thing is taken and eaten. So why should we take that? Why smoking? This nonsense. It is stated in every cigarette box. It is injurious to health or something like that. What is that? Warning. Eh? Warning. But it's still they are eating that poison. They are drinking. Uh, so these are unorthos, unwanted things. By bad association, we are habituated to this nonsense practice. But if you become a devotee and render service to Krishna under the direction of your spiritual master, these things will automatically vanquish. Anartha nivittisya tato nishcha then your faith becomes firm. Tato nishta tato ruchi tatha shakti ashakti the spontaneous attraction. Religious principle means you have to execute the preliminary formulas. But the ultimate end will be you will have spontaneous attraction for hearing about God or Krishna. That is wanted. If that thing is not done, then you are simply wasting time by going to church or temple or mosque and any nonsense. Simply waste of time. So don't become a so bottle of religious man. Actually, try to understand what is religion, what is God, and make your life successful. Thank you very much.